Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to install a module using Drush, and it's going to take no time at all, and it's going to be so easy and so nice that I can't imagine that after seeing this, you're going to want to install the module any other way. It's just awesome. Um, so it's really cool, and it's really super easy. So the module I'm installing is Custom Breadcrumbs. It's an advanced breadcrumb module. Um, and I, for one, have been having just terrible luck with breadcrumbs on the new Level Up uh, site. Um, every single breadcrumb module I, I encounter seems to have a fatal flaw, um, either in a bug or just not doing what I needed to do. Uh, so I've been experimenting a lot with breadcrumb modules, and custom breadcrumbs is great. There's a lot of things that could be better about it, but uh, it, it's an advanced breadcrumb module. So, uh, of course, we're going to want that on our site here. Um, this is our <laughs> LVLD7 site that we started that's importing our YouTube videos and stuff. And just so you can see that this magic trick is real, we're going to go to Modules, and we're going to type in Breadcrumbs, and you're going to see that I just have this easy breadcrumb module. I'm actually going to unenable it right now, and uh, I'm going to save this. It's the only one I have in here, and I just had it in there uh, to test some stuff out. Um, but we don't have custom breadcrumbs. You can see I'm searching for it. I don't see custom breadcrumbs, custom content. Okay, cool. So it doesn't currently exist. Uh, so how, how do we get this in our site with Drush? So if we're in our site's directory, we can try uh, type Drush DL and then space, and then the module name. This needs to be its machine name. So if we come back to Drupal project, you'll see that it's custom underscore breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna copy this. Most of the time, uh, the module is what you'd expect if it's two words, it has an underscore, and it's just the name of it. Occasionally, there's a couple that don't follow that convention, but for the most part, you can feel pretty confident typing in Drush DL views or Drush DL uh, C tools or something, chaos tools or whatever, and get your modules this way. So we type Drush DL custom breadcrumbs, enter. So now this is going to download custom breadcrumbs and all of the modules that come with it. Um, so of course, if we come to our module site, refresh, we don't have to do anything. We can just type in custom breadcrumbs and here they all are. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Um, but now we still have to come in here and enable them. What, oh, you know, whatever. We don't want to do that. We want to do this all in one fell swoop. We want to uh, first download it and now we want to enable it. So this gives you a list of all of the uh, modules. You can see which ones you want here. So I can type Drush and then we're going to type EN space and then hyphen Y. So what this is doing is this saying Drush enable these modules and then once it asks you if you really want to enable them, this hyphen Y just automatically fills in the yes for you. So you don't have to say yes, it just does it for you. Uh, so we want to pick some modules out of here. There's a whole bunch of them. We don't want all of them. I'm going to copy and paste. And you can do space just like this. So custom breadcrumbs. And then we also want to have custom breadcrumbs views right here and um, custom breadcrumbs API, and then custom breadcrumbs paths. And I think that's good enough. Notice how I just have a space between all these, and then I hit enter. And it's gonna say, do you really wanna continue? But because we had that hyphen Y, it automatically completes it. And then it gives us uh, the information we wanna hear. We see lots of green okays. It says, uh, Drush uh, breadcrumbs was enabled successfully. It says what it does. And then API was enabled, blah, blah, blah. Everything's enabled. And now I'm just gonna type Drush CC all for good measure to clear all the cache, come to our site. I'm gonna refresh this. And now let's look at custom. And we can see that the uh, modules that we wanted to enable, custom breadcrumbs, custom breadcrumbs API, paths, and custom breadcrumbs are already enabled. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, that's pretty darn awesome. So let's use another example. Let's say uh, you came to your site and um, you're used to working on a certain workflow. So you click structure and you go to look for context and you're like, crap, 
I don't have context installed yet. So without even leaving this page, really quickly, we're gonna do this fast. We can come to iTerm, drush DL context, drush NY context, and then context UI, and then enter, and then drush CC all, enter, and then come back to our page, refresh, context is there, we can go in and start adding context. In fact, I've had things like this happen where I'm in a view, I'm editing the view, and um, I, I forgot I didn't have semantic views installed, I install it really quick, clear the cache, and then by the time I click the settings in the view, uh, the layout settings, semantic views is already there. I didn't have to download anything, I didn't have to go to Drupal project, I didn't have to move files around in directories. It's that easy. So Drush is awesome. And there's tons more awesomeness to go over. I'm going to talk about Drush a little bit more, and then we're going to get into some Omega 4 stuff. So as always, uh, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching. Love to hear from you. Uh, check out our Facebook, check out our Twitter, all that stuff. Uh, get in contact with us. We love hearing from you. So Scott Tolinski, Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching. Bye.